Hi everyone. I have a story for you today that I'm hoping will help us think a little bit about um, what might help people sometimes when they're feeling sad or angry. So it might be good for you to think about how you feel and what you need when you're sad and angry, but and you can also start to think about how you can help somebody else if you notice someone in your family or a friend of yours is feeling kind of upset or having some hard feelings. Maybe you can think about how you can help them too when you're listening to this. So this is called The Rabbit Listened and it's by Corey Dorfield. The Rabbit Listened. One day, Taylor decided to build something, something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. Look at how Taylor feels now. He was feeling so proud, and now I wonder if he's sad or disappointed. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grrr, rawr, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grrr, roar, grrr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trump I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant also left. One by one they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, gulp, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tsk, tsk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. Hmm. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence. Silence is when there's no noise. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. That's the end. So I wonder what you noticed in that story. I noticed that the rabbit was just kind of there to help Taylor and kind of just be there until Taylor felt ready. And so that's one of the reasons, you know, we practice things like taking our deep breaths and using our calm down tools because you might need a little time before you feel ready to do something sometimes too. And that's okay. So might your mom or dad or your brothers and sisters and friends. Sometimes people just need a little time to kind of have their feelings and think about it for a little while and then they'll be ready to try something new, right? And so hopefully, maybe you can let your family know if you ever want them to just kind of sit with you or if you just need a little time alone and then you'll be ready to try some of the other things like all those things that the animals at the beginning suggested that Taylor did end up trying at the end, right? 
Um, I hope that you have been enjoying learning about these different tools we can use. I've been so proud of all of you with what a good job you've done using them at home and what a good job you've done talking about your feelings. I love seeing that and I know that you will keep working hard at that and keep getting even better and better. It gets easier the more you practice it. So you keep working on that and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon.